Welcome back to the adventures of Yugoslavia in revolt. This could be really, really good for us. Holy shit. Bratislava, 6,000. Are they kind of equal sizes? They're... No, no, no. Hang on. They're about equal sizes. Hang on. Did I see that right? Was that a fucking polar bear? What, what was that? I, I saw a polar bear. I don't know if you guys saw a friggin' polar bear, but I did. Um, anyway, like I was about to say... Uh, I mean, you, uh, uh, Yugoslavia is in a massive rot right now, so we could try and pick this apart, try and grab some land if we felt like it. Uh, I think that'd be a good idea, because yesterday, we grabbed all of the three holy sites that we need. All of the three holy sites, all of three out of five of the holy sites, to be able to reform the faith, but we have no moral authority. So we need to do a load of holy wars, load of conquests, etc, etc. Oh, Israel's in revolt as well? Oh, the world is our oyster. But I'm thinking, why don't we finally, seeing as today is the official release date of this mod, so you guys can get it from Steam, I'll put a link in the top comment. I figured today would be a good day to start the Atlantis Reformation program. However, we have half Diplo range. Of course, I did that by design so that we could see all the various cultures and shit, but we are going to have to try and find a way to get to Doggerland. So, here's the plan. We're going to go for, first things first, we're going to go for Mallorca. I have put my Chancellor in Mallorca. You can quite clearly see that we have vision on just Mallorca. For whatever reason, the Chancellor shows up in Ibiza. I guess he's holidaying. Whatever. That's that's his problem. But we are still going to get claims fabricated on Mallorca. When we've got Mallorca, that in theory should put us within Diplo range to start immediately fabricating claims on Doggerland. At that stage... Oh, is it also free from Britain? Uh, it is. Doggerland prepared a vision of Norway. Oh, shit. Um, well, that could cause us some issues. Anyway, like, that's not important. We can... Get over there quite quite quickly. I think it would just allow us to cross the continent and then fabricate climate at that stage. We have to get a little bit closer. We give like the Isles of Cilia or something, but I want to stick to the islands as much as possible. Hopefully along the way, though, with our conquests and our holy wars and whatever else we've got access to here, we will be able to reform the religion while we try and also reform Atlantis. What a great combo that would be, sort of one-two blow, to also reform the Hellenic faith, a new Atlantean religion, and then also grab Doggerland too, and we can start really working on the meat of things. So that's the plan. Who do you want to succeed us? Um, that's, a, that's a good question. Okay, let's see who our succession should be to start off with then. I'm looking for... I mean, we've already got Ireland elected, and she's actually... I Ireland the, th the fourth? Yeah, Ireland the fourth. Astu, obviously, just got Rowdy Curious, which are two incredibly good childhood traits. She, unfortunately, has Indolent, which is a massive pain in the ass. But, I mean, that's basically all we can... There's not a lot we can do about that one, unfortunately. We just kind of hope it... Actually, can it even become anything good? Um, does Indolent become, like... Charitable, charitable, slothful, or gluttonous. I mean, obviously, charitable or gluttonous would be fine. Charitable would be good. Slothful being crap. So, we'll see how that goes. The Duchy of where? Duchy of Cyprus is no longer considered to be part of the Kingdom of Cyprus. Oh, no. So, if we form the Kingdom now, it will flip. We'll lose to your claims on our capital? That's interesting. We'll see how that works. We're also really, really close as well. I don't forget to be able to actually to, to grab the realm. What was it we needed left to do? It was just rule for 10 years, right? Um... Yeah, we've just got to rule for 10 years. So after that stage, we'll be able to flip this over into a feudal system. We've just got to wait to uh, 2667. That's in the bag. In the meantime, then, let's get some moral authority. Let's uh, start retaking some of these great lands that we've lost out on. We can only do conquest. Unfortunately, we can't holy war. Um, and if that's the case, we get 1% per war. So we've got to declare 35 fucking wars. We do have a claim to forget on Syracuse, which is under Libya. We could go for that one first. 6,300 versus 12,900. Why not? Let's, let's come out swinging today. Let's absolutely get our fucking teeth into things or not. Oh, shit. We didn't even push the claim, so it died with Ireland the second. Bollocks. Um, oh, that's really annoying. Can we, like, can we attack you instead? No, we can't. Um, what if we got, like, a border over here? And then jumped over to Campania, down to Libya, down to these guys, and then down to Libya. I don't think that would work, but we'll give it a go. We might as well, uh, might as well try our best. What have we got here? So we're Epros or Arta. Either of those would be fantastic to conquest. We can't. What are our choices here? Thestalia? Oh, no. Okay, well, that's technically... Oh, no, it's in a different C. Okay, so we're a little bit screwed. We'll go for that one, then, seeing as that's already... Again, it sets up kind of a bit of a nicer border for what remains of Greece here. We don't want those guys to be conquest anymore, otherwise we're losing more and more... More and more bloody uh, morale. So I'm. Oh, they actually flipped over to Catholic though, didn't they? I'm remembered. So coming back to me now. Um, Greece. Yeah, they're Catholic. Right. So it's just if we get declared war and or lose any wars that we'll lose moral authority, that's fine. That's absolutely fine with me. How else do we get moral authority? Dedicate temples? Would that do it? I have no idea. Um, oh, we got sick of crown folks apparently. Let's, let's do one here. Let's also dedicate this friggin' temple. Um, oh, I've already dedicated this one. De it's Ryan's Jupiter. Got it. Um. We'll dedicate this one, then, if that's possible. Dedicate temple. We need 200 piety. Ah, okay. Fair enough. 
Besides that, though, I can't think of any ways off the top of my head to get the moral authority that we're going to need to pull this off. It's going to be very, very difficult short of just a shitload of warfare. Before our troops can test their metal against the enemies, do we want to spend a shitload of gold and potentially get nothing out? I think a healthy cow is more than enough. 10% bonus. That's quite nice. I do need to take that into account as well when we actually do declare some wars. We could probably get away with being a bit more risky with some of our conflicts if we keep enough gold aside to be able to go for the maximum sacrifice. It might just allow us to get enough morale to just kind of be over a slightly larger army. We'll see how it goes anyway. Um, right, where's your capital then? The Yugoslav Revolt is over there. So we want to kind of send the bulk of our forces over to that one. Then we'll get everyone else over to here. I'm going to drop all these ships as well. Let's get rid of those. Try and try and conserve as much gold as possible. Because wars are already really friggin' expensive for us right now. Especially keeping boats raised like we saw a couple of episodes ago and tried to go raiding. Right, get these guys. We'll get our... Character leading this one. She's only got 25 marsh right now. Guys, we've only just really started playing as her, so she's got a long way to go to flip her into something really good. What rank is she? Oh, she's warrior already. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll save that one for after we finish the war. I think I think she's got plenty of potential. I think we should be all right here. All right, let's drop that one too. I think I just disbanded my fucking right knees again. Right, okay, be gone. We need to stop the Yugoslav soldiers first so that we don't... What in the fuck is this soundtrack? Night France. Well, I couldn't think of anything more appropriate, given that we're in the clitting middle of post-apocalyptic Greece. Um, I just went for a two-hour walk, so I didn't know what the fuck we were doing. Uh, oh, right, right, the Yugoslav Revolt. Right, okay, got it. I'm sorry, I'm back on track. It might, might just take me a minute to get back into things here. Okay, so we're in the, literally in the middle of the battle. I couldn't have been to more perfect time to walk the fuck away from my PC. Um, yeah, cool. We've got it in the back. Right, wipe these guys out, and then we'll just head straight for the capital, I guess, and bomb rush it down. Ah, oh, I remember. We have these guys as well that work in this over. Cool. I would love to get that other holy site by today as well in Syracuse. So we will have to do some more. After we get a claim on Mallorca, we'll move back over to that. I would love to try and reform the faith before we head out. I had a sort of thought while, while I was out that it would be better to reform the faith first. Just in case there are any anything that would allow us to reduce the naval penalty of having raised ships. Sort of like the, the, the Norse Reformation one. That would be super, super powerful for us. Because it means we could do these sort of cross-continental invasions. It means we could get out raiding constantly and kind of you know maybe get a bit of a kickstart to our economy when we do move to a new island um anyway when we when we have to move the capital to atlanta that is, let's keep stopping yugoslavia's troops like this is yugoslavia's proper troops here whereas this is obviously the rebellion we won't get any war score for this but it's important that we don't oh cool it's important that we don't uh let them win the war what whoa I am one with the gods, I find myself chanting with each swing of my spear. For the Cypriot League, I roar as my weapon piercing the soul of any who dare step into my way. Bodies and blood hits the floor. They hit the floor, they hit the floor, and I keep bellowing my battle cry, awash in a river of extinguished lives. May Anagaxes care for all of these souls. We become known as the Wrath of Ares. That's really fucking cool. Holy shit, these people aren't even our enemies. She's just lost her goddamn mind. More importantly, Wrath of Ares... 69 personal combat. You couldn't you could not make this shit up. Um my brother? Oh my half brother just did a good battle. Well done. Reward is in order. We give him 109 gold. You can get fucked, brother. Right, let's take uh let's take these troops out. So these troops we all get war score for. Lose Virgo? Absolutely. I'd rather have no star signs. Because someone pointed out to me as well. Good god, that's obnoxious. Someone pointed out to me as well that um the star signs also have a romantic bonus as well, or negative. So they have like a good compatibility with one star sign, but then really bad with like a handful of others. I don't know how that shit works because it's made up. So uh, your, your guess is as good as mine. More importantly, I'd rather just not have it at all and not have to worry that I've like made the wrong marriage or hired the wrong counselor who just happens to be, you know, a Gemini. And, oh my God, we're a waiting Virgo or something like that and fuck up our entire round's diplomacy just because we happen to be shit out of a vagina on the wrong day. Wow, that was bad science. Anyway, 30% war score. Let's do some more battles. Um, you will make a suitable sacrifice. There's another thing we need to do as well as obviously crank up our piety as much as possible here. So whenever we get the option to, I do need to be checking our prisoners and lopping the heads clean off of the shoulders. We need 300 piety for... Ah, be gone. With 300 piety for a... Wait, I'm getting my mods confused. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, ignore me. <laughs> this is probably doing 2CK2 seeds. 2CK2... Uh, playthrough simultaneously is that I keep getting the mechanics but between one and the other. When we've reformed the religion, it won't be so bad because, you know, then, I'll, then we'll have a very clear-cut set of mechanics available to us. Wow, aggressive leader, defender or unyielding. That's a really hard one. Aggressive leader, I think, is what we want right now. And then, of course, we go for a warrior training too, which I completely forgot about. Wow. 
Holy shit. Okay, that's just really going to boost us up. Watch this shit. Okay, that's also auto balance. Um, 23, 25, 22. This is going to be a massacre. With those two damaging traits on board. Oh my god, that was it. That was all we needed. Now, I know it's a single province, but that is 1% extra to our... That's 1% extra to our religious score, which is something. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's better than nothing now. Oh, I didn't even drop the fucking boats, you moron. Um, hey, nice. That's not bad. Wait, was it? We just took Thessalonica? No, we didn't, did we? No, we took this one. I remember now. All right, there we are. 10 out of 9. So we maxed out our domain limit as well, which is quite nice. Let's get a new chancellor on board. And now we let some time tick so that we can get ourselves a little bit more cash. Uh, how are we looking on 18? Oh, my God. It's a shame we can't do Holy Wars at all because this is going to take a very, very long time. What about Greece? We could probably go to war with Greece proper, couldn't we? Conquest of Corinth. I know I said I was going to let it stick for a while. Send our vassals after them. Maybe we can just sit here and not do anything. Let our vassals fight the whole thing. Um... Entrails these birds to war. We actually nailed it. That's fine. Just let those guys deal with it. Fine. I am with child. My husband will be pleased. Whose child, though, we'll never know. Um, oh, we've got troops raised. Shit, my bad. Right, let's move in then. Oh, it's already sieged. Is someone else trying to take it? Bollocks. What are you, are you actually trying to take uh, the Greek war to make... Oh, so the Greeks declared a war on this guy to make him pay tribute and fucked it up. Oh, okay. Well, that's really annoying because it means we, we're not going to be able to take that until that's dealt with. That's going to take a very long time for them to solve that war. Let's get these guys just on our unit. We'll just control our vassal troops, save getting ourselves into even more debt. But we paid that off bloody fast. Wow. 27 gold a month. Holy shit. And our, our vassals did actually back us in this one too, which I'm quite surprised by. Um, oh, I was like, what the hell are we in hiding? That's right. We're about to have a babby formed. Basilic. Um, what was I calling them? Crappy Islands again? Um, oh god, all of these kids... All of these kids are... Oh, my God. I would have to go back and... We did get a Fortlands, though, so that's blessed. I would have to go back and uh, name all of them manually. Um, what island have we had? We haven't had, like... What about... What about... Uh, what about Britain? <laughs> what about the island of Britain, huh? We haven't had that one yet. Oh, shit. We're dying? I must pray to Ares. Oh, God. Malays. Tips for Dora. Kerikos to Laodikia. Educated guesses. You are in an early stage of dysentery. Christ. Um... I'd rather not die this early on, because I think she's got a lot of potential. Or flu. They're also in our capital as well there. As long as you know what we're doing, let's not risk it. Oh, God. Okay, 3.5 health. Shit, this is going to be close. Maybe we should flip over to, like, family focus? Maybe even hunting, because that would still allow us to gain some personal combat skills. Um, what sort of weakling are you? Oh, shit. What? After chat for a while, he reveals to me that he's been watching me for a while. He finds me a very strong and attractive fighter. Look at the muscles on you. I happen to think the same about you. Fall in love with Parthenopios. Um, I'm going to Parthenopios out of there, brother. I want hunting focus. We've got 12. Oh, we've got to wait another two years. Shit. Boy, I hope we live. We're just murdering fucking everyone. We're just murdering absolutely everyone. Well, your fellow member of the companions has been killed in a duel by Island the Wrath of Ares. That's what they get. Don't step, don't bring that weak shit here. Oh, there we go. Okay, nothing to worry about. The council I just noticed then don't like us, and I want to know why. Malcontent? Domain to big female ruler. Oh, ruthless. Right, because we just killed that dude in a duel when we probably shouldn't have. Well, I was thinking of the personal combat, to be honest with you, especially if we're going to be leading these armies. Um, intolerable. Let's trick her in prison, take that gold. Because I would like to start stockpiling in just in case we do try and push some of these crazier, to try and go for some of these crazier um, religious titles. Let's ransom her. Oh, right. Of course I can't banish her. She's landed. Um, let's ransom her out then. 25 gold is better than nothing, I guess. Please don't siege my capital anymore. Please. This was supposed to be a very easy... How is she coming out? Oh, really badly. Oh, my God. She got shrewd and it removed bloody... That's not... That's not supposed to happen, I should point out. Um, shit. I might just add that back with the console because that's not actually supposed to happen. That's a bug. With whoever made that really shitty traits mod that I use all the series that has my name attached to it. Bollocks. Um, oh, God. I, in the interest of fairness, maybe I should just remove Shrewd and put back Astute. She was supposed to have both. She did get Slothful as well. Yeah, so that's also removed Shrewd again. I need to go ahead and fix that. That's all right, though. I'd rather have, obviously, Astute or Inheritable trait rather than having it be replaced by Shrewd. Doesn't really make much sense. That's a shame, because it means that basically we've missed out on an entire childhood trait there. But, hey, in the interest of fairness, why the hell not? And honestly, we've, we've made w better characters from much worse. So, um, this is fine. I'm just going to let them like his animal. I'm going to specifically try and not raise our troops to try and earn as much money as possible. That's why we're over our bloody limit. Get the hell out of here. In fact, how many troops have we got in the capital? I was going to say, we could just raise up our armies and see if we can... 
See if we can crack them that way. I'm going to go in Counter Siege because I think, honestly, I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but Counter Siege and the Capital would be enough to just end this war. But I think it's not an issue. We are still writing our Marshall book as well there. Um, starting to think Yobin might fancy me. But all right, thank you, Yobin. Much appreciate. We don't need any more angry counselors right now. Oh, this is kind of dangerous. So she's got aggressive leader, but if we start losing, we'll lose massively with aggressive leader. So... What have we got? Excuse me. Get off those fucking boats. Right, there we are. That's looking a little bit better. Okay, I think that's probably safe enough to risk. Right? Have we got any better commanders there, too? Zacharias and Methodius. Let's go just go ahead and straight up disband all of those guys. Let armor Allen increase very slightly. And then this army, we can just ping pong back and forth across these islands. So this is basically just about war score. Yeah, we're good. Once you really start getting your foot in the door with aggressive lady, you're fine. It's if they start attacking you back, because obviously you lose that morale defense. Um... Fuck that. I'm not spending that much gold. My god, I'll take the free commander instead. Oh, nice. Look at that. And if we take out the capital, I reckon we're probably done here. Uh, thank you very much. If you could leave. Fucking hell. Really? Take back our capital for like 700 dudes? That's ridiculous. Apparently that was enough. What the hell happened? They just boat bombed a load of our people and we killed them. Okay, fine. Boom. Okay, nice work. There we are. A little bit more expansion there. It's not much. It's, it's, it's kind of little inclines here. But it's what we need to have enough troops to be able to finish off this bloody religion. So if we got two more holy sites, that would take us up to 42. One of which is under Israel, though, which I don't particularly fancy fighting. Although, with this massive revolt and with Jerusalem breaking off, they've only got 13,000 men. Can I conquest Alexandria? No. Let's go for the religion first. Okay. Fuck the Mallorca idea. Or the Mallorca idea, or whatever the hell I was fabricating claims on. Let's get this religion dealt with today. 200 golden ransoms coming as well. That's really nice. Oh! Wait, what? Dragon Amulet 4 added to our treasury? Someone must have died. Oh, that's cool. I'm so glad we got that back. So that's obviously what we missed out on. I, I imagine it probably inherited down. Because if you remember, we had we, that character we were playing has got disposed. So original island's brother was deposed. He took the amulet with him. And I imagine that's followed down his descendants. And maybe one just died off then. No idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what? Britain died in the dungeons of... You prick. Give me my... Oh, well, I don't care about any of those. You ass. Oh, you're done for. What's he got? No, 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 no. I'm gonna... Let's take the rest of Greece. We could just wipe these guys... We could genuinely just wipe these guys out, like try and kill them over and over and over, and then just keep pushing wars over and over, but we haven't quite got the intrigue for it. Um, let's do a bit more character development. Oh, God. Island the Fourth has really just fucking let it down here. Wow. Tough soldier. You fucking awful child. That's a real shame. God, we were doing so well, and she's really fucked it up. So have a private conversation. See if we can encourage her. Oh. Oh, I was trying to seduce it. Your daughter will probably not take this well. Island blinks in surprise. I stepped closer, but when I moved to Crest, I catch a glint of steel in the woman's hand. You were, you were going to use that on me? You'll have to catch me first. Oh, no. I won't get out without a fight. Oh, fuck. Um, she was going to murder us? All because I wanted to, to have, a, have a sexual relation with my daughter? That's not weird. You want to go down without a fight? No, I didn't want that to happen. You fuck. We fight each other. But in the end, I prevail and bury my dagger in her chest. I leave her lying on the ground. A pool of blood forming around her. She was murdered. That's a, that's a Greek tragedy right there. That's, that's how Ivan the Terrible Clutch in his son. That's exactly what this is right now. So be it. Wow. Shit. What have I done? We do have a spare son. We have a spare son that apparently I educate in humility like a moron. Um, this guy is a very good educator. Patient, diligent, lustful, brave, shrewd. Educate him. Please turn him into something half decent here. We might just flip and turn him martial anyway. We'll see how it goes. We might have an education of a generation of poorly educated children. Um, I'm still going to go for the astute kid, though, because I feel like he's probably our best option here. There we are. Wow. What a what a proper tragedy. Okay. So then, now we wait. Now we play the waiting game and just pray that our guy hurries up and grabs a claim on this. We, we definitely don't still have a claim over here, do we? Nothing there. Um, I think we could probably go to war, honestly, with any of our neighbors and do them in. I genuinely think any of our neighbors we could beat right now. We've beaten Yugoslavia a couple of times at this stage, so... The issue is it's such a massive fucking war to fight. Oh, man. I don't know. I think I think Israel should be our top priority here. Um, ooh, what about picking apart just Jerusalem? Oh, we don't have any... Uh, we can't just conquest those guys. Okay, fair enough. Um, 
Let's, let's give it a while. See if we can fabricate a claim. But if we go like two years without a claim, we'll just have to try and declare war because I don't want to lose the momentum that we've got on the moral authority. I can't believe that none of these temples give like moral authority if you dedicate them. That's a shame. Um, diplomacy plus one, fertility plus 10%. I still think the temple to Jupiter is the best one to go for. Let's do it. Well, okay. You know what? Let's start investing some gold. We don't need this much money just kicking around. Again, I'm keeping it kind of emergency funds for mercenaries, but I think it would just be better spent invested, you know? Um, Cataphract training ground, that has to be quite good. Let's do it. Okay, let's go for Cataphract training ground there, and then we'll just keep upgrading our capital, Dutchie, and fuck everything else. Like, this place in particular could do with a lot of upgrades. Um, oh, that's almost more all of our money gone already. Whoops, my bad. Oh, a strong sun. Oh my god, we've been given another chance. Okay. Britain. Because our last one died. Britain the second. Let's go for a sign guardian on us. Holy shit. This is what what's he got? Pisces? Didn't stay opinion, same trip. That's not bad. The diplomacy minus one kind of sucks. But if we land our relatives, it's only a good thing. Struggle. A strong sun is very good. A stew, I would still argue, is better. But we can work with this. That's fine. Uh, we're at war. Why are we at war? Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just declare war on me and not tell me. What the fuck? Kaiser Egbert the Sarcastic. Oh, we'll show you. 754 men. Oh my god. Potential vassal ally troops. 25,000. Bring me my mighty bull to war. Thanks to your hard work, you completed the hospitable achievement. I'm not entirely sure what that one is about. Let's take a look here. Um, hospitable stargazer, typhoid Mary, marriage game, you owe me, we're in business. Uh, hospitable. Previous page. Um, it's about on the dupe. I don't know what that one is. Oh, there we are. Oh, but a hospital. Oh, is that it? Wow. Okay, fair enough. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a very, very tricky conflict. I wish I hadn't spent all that money up front now. Um, and what are they after? They're after the Papal States? They are. Okay. I mean, that's fine. We could just sit on it and let them come to us. Because they're not going to be nearly as organized as we are here. Um, let's merge those guys. Let's get us and our best commanders leading this one. Then we'll get our allies to attach this. And we're just going to sit here and let them come to us. Rather than go for their capital or anything. They've got way more troops in there. They are coming from multiple different allies, so they're not going to be nearly as organized as well. Fingers crossed. This is all we need. Let's drop our boats down. And let's pray that this fucking works. Because I have no idea what else we can do. Maybe this is where we go for, like, military <laughs> techniques or something. What's the most of our army consistent of? We've got a lot of light cavalry, but we've got a shitload of infantry. Especially heavy infantry. Okay, fair enough. Um, skirmish techniques, then. It's not too bad. Melee techniques give us the... Yeah, heavy infantry 3.5%. Oh, I don't know. Maybe just good generic. Maybe just generic infantry upgrades for the time being couldn't hurt. To be honest, let's just spend all of our tech points here. I wouldn't normally do this, but just to guarantee that last level of bonus, I think it's absolutely worth it. Um, legalism, then. How long until we can flip over? We've only got, like, another two years, am I right? And we've still got everything else we need? Yeah. Um, we've got to think, then, what would a feudal ruler want? To be honest, I don't know what they've changed. Oh, tolerance actually couldn't hurt. Remove the female ruler penalty. And female heir as, as well, I assume. Whoa, shit, they're here? <gasps> they're here. Oh, my God. Where the fuck did they come from? Um, Wow, this is going to be close then. Good luck. Fuck. Uh, ooh. Skill tactician mid-battle. Is that going to be enough? Fuck, it looks as though we're actually going to do it. Oh, my God. This is so good. Oh, and patient as well. Holy fuck. The transformation. We've gone up to brilliant strategies and we just got patient there too. Boom, look at that. Chase him down. We can get all the battle war school from this war. Oh my god, because we've got the... Is this one gives us movement speed? Yeah, we can beat them there too. Wow, very nice. Keep sacrificing, never stop. Shank playing one learning. Again, they're going to retreat straight into us there. Now we can go on the counter attack, I think. How many troops has he got left after that? 13,000. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go back to Rome for a little bit. Reinforce. And again, let them come to us. We can get all the Battle War score we need from just from hunkering down here. <gasps> oh, bollocks. We can't afford it. Fuck. Um, okay, we'll run, run some of those guys out. We'll just take the loss on our chin. Because that was... That was a long time waiting for that. We, I, I hired a whole new diplomat as well. So, fuck. Okay. Um, let's also swap you out. Let's set, send you over to our other final holy... Oh, my God. The perfect timing. Move this guy over to the final holy site here in a second. 85% because they're not making a move. The, the confederation on confederation warfare. Very cool. Okay, get you to Syracuse. 
that's all of our holy sites dealt with. What does that warfare book give us? It's 10%, right? Yeah, 10% morale defense, 10% morale damage, and Marshall plus one. Very cool. We're up to 30 Marshall again. We've made previous island proud of us, I think. Truly deserves the name Island the Third. The Wrath of Ares as well. That's so fucking cool. I might want to call us nicknames we've ever gotten. Well, it looks as if we're going to win entirely just to a ticking war score. Just because they've, they've done a complete lack of anything this entire goddamn war. Um, the war reparation should also pay for our debt. I was just kind of worried for a second they might attack us while we had nothing. Thank you. I kind of cleared our debt there. What a terrible war from the Kaiser. Really, really pathetic stuff. So now we can go ahead and pursue our claim on Israel. 26,000 men, though. Big fucking oof. Um, okay. Let's just wait. Let's wait for our smugglers' bands to disappear. Or whatever. All the negative counter modifiers we had from this. From going into so much debt. When that's cleared up, we'll pursue that claim in Alexandria. Fingers crossed. We're not going to get it quite done today. Unless we can get that final claim. Come on. So the question is, do we want to flip into the Kingdom of Cyprus? Because I have a feeling... If we did that, it would become magnetic, cognatic, primogeniture, at which point our oldest son would inherit. And what's he like? Oh my god, he's fucking awful. Detached priest, foolish, and has great box. Um, I don't think, as well, we'd be able to flip the succession law because we technically already changed it once by becoming... What the fuck is going on outside? Christ. Um, <laughs> I don't think we'd have access to flipping the succession law because we'd already changed it once. Maybe we should just stay like this, because because of our round management, we've got the ultimate succession type. Downside is sure, we can't revoke titles and whatnot, but... And and religion is is a lot l more flexible in this kingdom. Like, we can't revoke religious titles, things like that. Can't demand conversion, but... Man, I think I think we'll stick like... I genuinely think we're just going to stick like this for a while. Another 100 gold, thank you very much. Oh, this guy we can actually properly banish to and take everything. So we say intolerable. A beautiful man. 700 fucking... Oh, we got the duchy, you prick. And I want the duchy. Oh, God. I was going to say, thank God he finally fucking fabricated the claim when we had the money. Um, Hang on, hang on. Let's imprison this guy. Banish him. 137. We're only going to be, what, like 100 gold down? 53 gold down. That's fine. That will pay itself off in a couple of months. Give me a court position as well. Holy fuck, so that's everything? Now we've got to do is win the war against Jerusalem. Or Israel, I should say. And then win the war against what's left of Libya here. In fact, if we take that in one go, holy fuck, that could be so good. Whoa, hello. Uh, the reports that lives in Mesopotamia missed it not far from our borders. He's a heathen. Locals respect him and turn to him in times of need. Sure. Okay, join me. It'll do just fine. Okay. I'll be honest, I forgot about you. Uh, this is the older son that we currently have elected. Not bad, actually. Fortune builder, 16 martial... Uh, sorry, 16... Stewardship. Hey, that could be a lot, lot worse. That's really not a, a problem at all. Let's get you collecting some taxes over here. Um, so, we're kind of going all in on this last son now. I'm really hoping that Prince Britain comes out. Actually, he's six years old. He's already got five marshal. I have faith in this kid. I have full faith in this kid. So, let's try and stop her like a thousand gold. And then when we've got that, we'll gun for Israel. We'll have to hire some troops to fight them either way. Unless they can break out into a massive rebellion again. Get into some external wars. We've got 30,000 men. And they're not even quite fully reinforced. Fucking hell. Um, what are we looking at again? We're looking at like... We're looking at like 21,000 men. Not including direct vassal raising and retinues. And that's assume everybody accepts. We need to be able to hire like an army of 10,000. It's going to be extremely expensive. Nigerian Empire likes wealth. So if we could grab... <laughs> I'm going to do that stupid plan yesterday. If we can find um, St. Peter's Bones. A rare artifact 5. Let's go Diplo range, yes. King of K, Deutschland. I don't think that's quite works, but that's okay. Uh, classic poetry. Bear in mind that the full release version is going to be different. What I'm playing is going to be very different to the full release version. But this is like uh, like a week or so old now. Still the Ark of the Covenant, ship it off to Nigeria. So I imagine any bugs that you see in this one will be ironed out. Let's do exactly that. Let's take our Marshal. 25 Marshal plus another 29 Marshal. It's a quality 5 artifact. He likes wealth. If we ship that off, 90% chance of success. Come on. If we ship this off, we are going to be rich. Rich beyond your wildest dreams. Rush them before they raise the alarm. 
Okay, we've literally got a 50-50 chance. If we succeed, we ship it off to Nigeria. We get them to invade Jerusalem and shatter them. Please. I hate you. I, I hate you. Fuck. Um, fight our way out, but there's a lot of them. 64% chance of escaping with wounded. We did. We escaped with wounded. Thank fucking God for that. Oh, that sucks. God damn. Now we're going to have to fight them the old-fashioned way. But never mind. We've got, we got, we got enough gold to be able to hire some mercenaries now. So it's not a massive loss. Paragon of Virtue. The wrath of Ares will be felt far and wide as long as you're on an island nation. Okay. 800 and, 886, 786 gold should give us enough to hire the Red Army. The fucking Red Army marched on Jerusalem. To be fair, they've got a very low cost. And with us leading it, like 10, 11,000 light infantry with a great commander, this could work. What oh, the fuck is this music? Rome? Yeah, I'm going to skip this one. Um, Scottish Castle. Again, sets the scene quite well. Let's fucking do it. God, I hope this is royalty free. Let's fucking do it. Red Army for 500 gold. And then a 30 gold per month. That gives us like 300 gold to play around with. It's 10 months of war. Don't check the maths on this. It's really bad. I'm checking it as I'm saying it. And it's not, it's not adding up, Chief. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Give me Alexandria. Give me that shit. And if we come out swinging here, we might be able to immediately go and take Libya. Take uh, take, take the Duchy of Sicily from Libya. Bring it. This is it. This is for all the fish. All the all the kettles of all the fishes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Join me. Join me. Join me. Welcome. Join, join us in this most holiest of complex. A mighty bull. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this. Healthy cow. That'll do it. Who are you calling a fucking healthy cow, you prick? Right. Get us in there. Oh, God, our vassals are turning us down. That was not part of the plan. Okay, that's fine. Minor setbacks. Send them over. We need to drop our troops off fucking fast and get these boats disbanded. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to afford the Red Army. Never thought I'd say that. Never thought I'd say that. Okay, land. Land right now. Right, okay. Uh, let's merge those. Let's get those... Excuse me. Let's get those boats merged. We need a few more, if you don't mind, team. Those ones can go. Let's try and cut all the corners on as many costs as possible here. It's the best thing to do. And what will you land? Thank you. Okay. Here we go, squad. On the boats. They've dropped troops. We might be able to bait them to attack us. Which, if we can, that would be incredible. That would, that would genuinely save us so much effort here. I kind of want to snipe Alexandria before they get their armies together. It's going to take them a very long time to combine all of their 20-odd thousand men here. We might be able to pick off random little units. It's probably the best play. Okay. Back on the ships. Let's do it. Hit their capital, then go for Alexandria. Thank God they've got a coastal capital, though. My God, that's making my life... Oh, very easy. Oh, look at it. They've just been... They've just conquered this. Holy shit, we can just knock down their entire fucking capital in one fell swoop. Oh, this was great timing. Thank God I am such a tactical genius and realized that they just moved their capital. Oh, look at that as well. That's great. Okay, we'll fight them on the beaches. We will never surrender. Home soil. Who needs the fucking red armies when you have Ireland the Great? Do it. No river crossings. No commanders. Only Ares. No, fuck off with that. Oh, we're crushing them. 56. And that's the best part about having a 30 personal combat. It's so good. I will mount your head on my walls. Or we can gain kind. We've already got kind. Mount his head. On, on your wall, I should preface. 62%. Count to the capital. Go for Alexandria. This is too strong. It's too strong. Thank you, Scotland, for getting me through this war. <laughs> Don't you attack, my friends. Brother, stay strong. We're here. The center of attention. I do not drink for the skull of my enemies. I laugh when a curious recruit slips a question. That's not a bad idea. I like your humor, girl. I say partner on the back. Center of attention? What was that all about? We're becoming renowned. We're becoming a legendary warrior for our exploits. Sippy, sippy from the... From the, from the <laughs> I can't say that as a bad reference. All right, join me. Get get together, team. Okay, this is what we want to try and avoid, is our vassals running off doing their own thing. Turn around. Excuse me. Attached to the army, he says. Walk in the fuck away. Where are you going? Thank you. I appreciate you fucking turning around at long last, you weird man. We could have assaulted this down. We could be done by now. What are they doing? We've lost war score. Have we lost war score? Oh, God. Hurry, 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 hurry. Bear in mind, they've probably still, even now, got way more troops. Than this. Yeah, they, they do. They do. I'd rather not hire the Red Army if we can... Oh, my God. I just noticed our gold. We're fine. We're done. Get fucking roasted, you fool. Okay. The next target. 
Drop the boats. Drop the men. Regenerate. It crashed. You would not. I... Oh, my God. You are a motherfucker. We got very lucky during that war. Long story short, OBS also crashed, and I've only just fucking noticed your shit. So, anyway... Uh, we murdered, successfully, the priest of Alexandria, killed him dead, replaced him with a good, powerful Hellenic man. Now we've just launched the crusade against Sicily. We've just literally the second taken their capital, and then I realized, oh, OBS seems to have died on me. So, here we go. The final, this is for all the marbles. This is for the Wrath of Ares. Getting the trait, cough. Oh, my God. If she, if she dies now, I'll, I'll cry. I will cry. Okay, get on the boats. Get on the boats, please, fast. Thank you. Uh, let's go take the war goal. Fatigue. No, 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 no. Cancer. No, 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 no. This is not how we go. I'm sure that did anything. Me neither. Right. Okay. Vassals. I didn't even call them in. Shit. Okay. Well, that was... At least at least he didn't get to see me do too much progress here. Huh? Right. That's why I did it. That's why I didn't call them vassals. Not because I completely forgot about that, but actually because I wanted to maintain some of the accuracy. Okay. Give me some treatment. Nothing. Fucking hell. All right. Obligation to war. Thank you. Uh, did they just drop troops off? They just sent boats over, but didn't actually do anything. Did you see that? That's a bit strange. Oh, shit. Time is of the essence. Assault it down. As long as you know what you're doing. I don't trust this guy at all, because he had really, really shit. Okay, let's sack him. I don't think he's that good. Nine learning. Yeah, swap him out for that guy. And then we'll try and get another successful treatment afterwards. Silk Shroud. Oh, thank you. Random man, whoever the fuck he was. Right, get this shit assaulted down as soon as possible. Because we, when we've got this, we still need to, again, like I did in Alexandria, assassinate the... Uh, we need to assassinate the new temple holder. Or the temple holder that we grabbed from it. That's 8%. Come on. 100%. That'll do. Boom. <gasps> we can just reform. Oh. Because uh, we... Wait. You can reform at 47%? What? Uh, is it because we have all the holy sites? Cool. That's, that's nice. Here we go, team. Let's fucking do it. Queen Island the Third, the Wrath of Ares, the Shield Maiden, the Mighty Warrior, who has taken some very questionable sites, some questionable islands across the realm. Finally, we get to Reformation. Unyielding, warmongering, proselytizing, dogmatic, cosmopolitan. I almost feel like dogmatic or unyielding would be fun. I never use dogmatic. I either go like, honestly, like warmongering or unyielding. Oh, what's unyielding like? And I'm just strong when defending the home territories. Resistant to the and Great Holy Wars are allowed. Um, warmongering would be quite fun. Dogmatic? I'd never go dogmatic. Base moral authority is high. Spread the word of Ares far and right. But hang on. Ares. Obviously, we've got to go fucking warmongering. And then we get the Warriors of Ares doctrine, which of course I'm going to go for. But we will look through some other their doctrines as well. Large families get fertility bonus. Family members think better of each other. Can influence the younger relatives. Pass them all. Let's fall in love. That's cool. Okay. Um, next clan's quality. An attic clan's bloodthirsty gods. Darren Seaban. Unrelenting. Animistic. Ancestral relation. Oh. Civilized, eh? Rulers can gain sympathies with other faith by decision. Edicts and issues allowed. Rulers do not receive opinion penalties for raised vassal levies. Civilized. How about the civilized warriors of Ares? We are the bastion of civility. Oh, we can't take it. Okay, fair enough. Um, Unrelenting. We can, oh, oh, sea bound. Sea bound. We're an island nation. Oh, it crashed again. Okay, fine. No progress lost. We're good. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, back to business then, for fuck's sake. Okay, please. Please vote. Okay, here we are. Warriors of Ares. No, no, no. We only want sea bound. It... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. This is the worst case scenario. Again, this is probably just a bug from the pre-release version I've got in the full version. I imagine this is all fixed. Um, okay, let me do some magic and get this working then. Boom. There you go. We got the Pontifical Scepter number four. So I chose uh, whatever puts us in charge of the religion. Obviously, I was going to do that. So we are now Pontifex, Maxima, Ireland, the Wrath of Ares, Hellenic, Reformed, Pagan, 
The ancient Hellenic religion has proven to withstand the onslaught of the cross of the moon rather than abandoning the old ways. Pontifex Maxima Ireland and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Hellenic faith in order to turn the tides and lead the assault against the new religions. Firmly under the leadership of our holy Pontifex Maxima, the Hellenic faith is ready to contend with its degenerate and barbarous opponents. The YouTube comment section for Apollo and we have achieved new ways for the old gods. Fantastic. So... Ah, oh, this is some good shit. Evil God named Zeus, Dinosis, Angelos, Hermes. So as we discussed, uh, they are, like, like, we've got the new pantheon now. They were kind of ousted. Oh, we can make our primary title. Oh, that's cool because it's a king level title. We can paint the map the nicest fucking color. The nicest, like, red. Red? 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 Fucking red? A little red to you, you moron. I think I need to lie down. <laughs> <laughs> I think, but that looks pretty good, though. So tomorrow, then, we move on to Atlantis. The final true goal of this. Pontifex, I, I just really like the fact. I, I love, I also don't like the Fulcrum. Obviously, that's the Dutch level type, so it's slightly harder to do that. But we could potentially make, I assume, a titular empire out of this. Oh, the Stoic Intelligentsia. Yeah, that's my Discord. Thank you for watching. Good work, everyone. Nice times. I think I'm having a little bit of heat stroke from sitting in this fucking room. Thank you to Justin Wallace, William Green, Iguana Squad, Caden Carter, Scary Scurvy, Aromatic Fool, Lucas, De Ector Fritz, Tyler McClam, Sarabi, The Potato Eater, Slipping Eps, Derek, Skaz, Alchemia, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. Big shout out to these guys. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. And a thank you as well goes out to Hoopalia. Night Rouge, Dion, Evan Dragon 323, Rob Girth, Demon, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Silent Sentinel, Harry Soff, Udric Haddon, Talar, Bokvin, Mr. Awesome, Justin Plock, Wilson and Tef, and of course everyone else over at Patreon as well. Thank you at home for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow if I'm alive. <laughs>